Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. So I have not, let me go ahead and copy it. This video was saying I have not read Britney Spears's book yet. I am, it's on my list and I'm ready to do it. It's just my schedule has not permitted me to do it yet. But I have been following up with people, with what people are saying about it. Um, she said some nice things about Sam Asghari. This is the stuff that I kind of wanted to talk about today. She said some nice things about Sam Asghari. Of course, we know that the book was written before Sam filed for divorce. So that's an element here. She talked about Mariah Carey and, you know, <laughs> Mariah Carey knowing about ring lights way before anybody else knew about ring lights. She talks about the fact that Justin Timberlake cheated on her for, I think, three or four years of their relationship. Um, she talks about uh, growing up in such a toxic household where her dad was constantly inebriated, um, emotionally volatile and, and emotionally violent with her family. Um, and also sort of those constraints. It's like she, she had these restraints of this very tenuous life in her family life. But when she stepped out into the outside world, it was not necessarily much, much better. You know, there's also, um, you know, all of the the expectations of her, you know, when she got out into society. Um, I've seen some buzzings about how she talked about shaving her head and how that was a one way to get attention from the paparazzis that were constantly stalking her, goading her, judging her to just be like a big F you to them. And then the last thing that I wanted to just sort of talk about was the fact that um, she, she's not mentioned this in her book. I don't understand the, the, I don't think that she's mentioned this in her book, but to my understanding, she has said in passing with friends and in, in certain intimate occasions that since she and Sam have separated, since he has filed for a divorce, that her mental health has taken decline and that she's not doing well. All right, let's talk about this stuff. Um, <laughs> let me just first caveat this with saying, I recently talked about Britney Spears and um, you guys know I'm a big fan of Britney Spears. Like, jeez, <laughs> I'm going back to the now CDs with Britney Spears' music. You guys even remember CDs? Do you remember now, you know, where you could order in, call in? And order those CDs. I'm remembering looking at her on Disney Channel, you know, posters in a preteen bedroom. I just, I loved her. I, I and I still love her. Um, I feel like Britney Spears, along with Selena Gomez and Taylor Swift, has some irrational fans out there. <laughs> I feel like she, she, she got some irrational fans in the sense that uh, these three women have Beyonce as well we can put her in there too they have some fans that are so very committed that if you point out some areas of improvement where where these beautiful goddesses can seek out some areas of improvement and their own personal growth if you point these things out to them their fans go crazy you know and one of them, one of the trolls rolled up into my page and, and I was very clear that I condemned the behavior of, of what Britney Spears did when she cheated on Sam Asghari. As much as I love her, I can say that that, that was not right to do, that that was not the morally, uh, morally the best thing to do. I can sit here and say that I love Britney Spears and I'm hoping the best for her but that her social media does concern me. I can say that I want her to be able to be free and do what she wants and express herself. Dance is what she does, but I can also say that, you know, maybe I think that she is a bit too reliant on the attention that she gets from her social media and that maybe she needs a break. I just feel like we've gotten into this day and age where people don't read so well into nuance. It's gotta be black or white. And that's not how life is. Very, very simply put, that's just not how life is. And when you start to try to gloss over all the complicated elements of life, that's when you get into trouble. I really think that Britney made a mistake, you know, with Sam Asghari. People, a lot of her fan base judged him deeply, deeply, deeply. And um, 
from the moment were distrust distrustful of him, said that he was a user. But when has Brittany ever said that? Even in this, it seems like she's really suffering because perhaps she sabotaged something that was very good for her. So, um, you know, there is this thing among social media where, you know, toxic codependence is really cultivated among a fan base. Where a fan base has developed a toxic attachment to a figure that they don't even know personally. They don't have their phone number. They don't see them on their birthdays. This person doesn't call them up when they need a ride to the airport. You know, this is this isn't your family. This isn't your uh, you know your 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 friends. It's not your friend circle. This is someone who doesn't even know who you are. So yes, have those interests, have those likes, but it seems like the social media and following of these women is taking a life on their own. And if they really don't nip it in the bud, just, you know, Cher, Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, these divas came up in a day where social media didn't exist. So they were able to be divas without the constant eyeballs on them. I think there's a reason why Marilyn Monroe ended up the way that she did, you know. The, the social media of Marilyn Monroe's days were all of these red carpet events and, and you know, banquets and movie, movie screenings where people just, all these camera lights were in her face and then people were telling her how amazing she was and then turning right around and talking about, oh, well, sh I heard this, you know, she was, you know, she's really not a chaste woman, this, you know, like just putting her down, you know? So I feel like social media is that new thing. Toxic and support can exist in the same system. And when I go and look at the people who are sort of keeping Britney Spears um, fueled on this love-hate relationship on her social media page, it just doesn't seem healthy to me. And um, it seems like it's running her life to a certain extent and I don't think it's good for her. Um, in terms of the stuff with Justin Timberlake, it seems like he generally is just trying to not even entertain that. Seems like he's not even trying to be associated with her in any way. Um, I think that cancel culture is deep. And I think, again, it, it drives back to that thing of where we've come to this time where people want black or white solutions when people can be good, bad, all mixed up together. And so... Um, I think for certain celebrities, the Justin Timberlakes, <clears throat> the Will and Jada Pickett, the Will, Jada Pickett Smith and Will, um, Will Smith, the Kerry Washingtons, um, the Katy Perry's, all of these, all of these celebrities who have somehow managed to navigate those weird intricacies. Paris Hilton is another great example. Those weird intricacies of this social media day and age that we live in while trying to hold on to who they are and not engaging with silliness, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to sometimes not address what, what buzzings are out there about you. But sometimes it's better for you. Sometimes it's, it's better for you to say it on your own timing, or sometimes it's better for you to say nothing and then release what you're trying to say when you want to say it. And so I feel like Britney Spears' book is really strong in that aspect. But I also feel like I just I feel like I would have felt much better about this book if she weren't releasing this book while she was um, treating social media the way that she does. It, it really, really, really concerns me. But um, all of my support is there for her. People are going to look at this and they think that I'm bashing her when I'm really not. I really want her to be OK. I just don't think that social media is serving her and I don't think it's serving the people who have really taken on this obsessive view with her. So, um, yeah, um, I, I, I don't love it. I don't love it. But, you know, what she said about Mariah Carey, I thought was awesome. That right there is two divas that are, are <laughs> so similar, but so different at the same time. And I think that, you know, Britney Spears is the type of person who is, she's probably the, the pretty girl who never understands exactly how pretty they are. You know, like, she looks at Mariah Carey and probably thinks some certain type of way about Mariah Carey when they're definitely playing in the same league, you know? It's like, and I wish that she probably could have surrounded herself with some energy like Mariah Carey and had more energy like Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey has had 
what I talked about earlier, she's had that energy of those certain celebrities that has been able to keep on about their boss business, ignoring the haters, even if those haters are sometimes family, and while while maintaining their own um, self introspection, um, you know that sort of uh, self preservation. I think that's what I'm scared for for Britney is that it seems like self preservation is not really is everything is on the world stage, and I just would love for her to take it off the world stage a bit and just live for herself. But Sam Asghari, he seemed really really delighted about what she said and um i still haven't seen proof that sam mascari is a gold digger i still haven't seen proof that he you know was a horrible horrible person i see what sort of seems like sort of toxic almost like um children of a recently divorced mom sort of like bashing their new stepdad or bashing the new guy who's a perfectly fine individual that their mom is dating. You know, I, I, that's almost how I see Britney Spears' really most loyal fans. Um, but I consider myself a Britney Spears fan too. We shouldn't be in this world where you call yourself a fan, but you also can't say, yo, I feel like you wigging out a little bit, man. Like, I just... At this point, I really would hope that Britney Spears could you know, introspect to herself, but I know that she kind of is the type of person who probably needs to be around people. But if she could, I would say that she she needs to do some self-introspection, self-preservation and get off social media. But I also would say she should turn to like her friends and family. But that right there is another tough card that she was dealt because she does not have that type of family that you can turn to. So I would say those people who maybe aren't her blood family, but who she feels are like she can be 100% safe with them and her secrets, her thoughts, her joys, her sorrows can be safe with them as well, even if they're not bluffing. I feel like she should turn to those people. I'm really, really excited about reading the book. Um, <clears throat> what was the other stuff? So Sam Asghari, Mariah Carey, Justin Timberlake, uh, Shaving the Head. I felt like Shaving the Head was one of the first boss Britney Spears moves that we ever saw. She is an individual. If you can say one thing about Britney Spears, she is an individual. She's constantly uh, pushing those labels that you put her in. It's like, oh, you sat here and thought that I was some sort of pushover, some little girl pop band Disney Channel singing puppet for you to just pose for your pictures and have you abuse me all the time? Let me just do something that's really going to throw you off. So, yes, I know a lot of people just basically look at that as a break in her mental health. But um, I also think that that was her just kind of saying, screw you. I'm going to I'm going to throw you off. I'm really going to throw you off right now. I she, she's a walking enigma. She's a walking enigma. I, there are some points you, you I feel like you have to be able to see some things that's just. Britney Spears is an individual, you know, and she's trying to break out of that mold that you have put her in, that box that you've locked her in. And then there's other things where we had to say, we see someone here who is struggling, like mentally and emotionally struggling, and we have to be sensitive around that. I'm really looking forward to reading the book. Like, if you've read the book, please don't give me too many spoilers, but still let me know what you think down in the comments. I want to know. And if you're new here, go ahead, hit the like, subscribe button, hit that bell so you know whenever I post a video, and I'll see you next time.